This is a few months old, but whatever, better late than never. So, a few months ago, Immortals Olay climbed to, like, rank 4 as a support, mainly spamming Karma, except he took a pretty different approach to the standard Windspeaker's Exhaust Karma. He would just go Thunderlords, Ignite, and run around killing people. It was insane. Um, now since Exhaust has been nerfed, almost everyone always goes Ignite, but at the time it was pretty crazy. So I figured why not, I'll just go over it quickly. Uh, so for Runes and Mastery, since it's such an aggressive playstyle, he took a really aggressive setup focused on stomping early laning phase. Like, he even takes double-edged sword, I don't know what's more aggressive than that. So yeah, the Ferocity Tree, Penetration Runes, whatever makes you do the most damage, uh, and Thunderlords in Precision, obviously. The idea is just to do a lot of damage to stomp laning phase and snowball. Um, the skill build is pretty standard, max Q, then E, then W. Of course, you max Q first, gives you the most damage, but his itemization is actually pretty interesting. So he goes Mobase, so that he can you know roam around killing everyone. But then what he would do is build Ardent Sensor into Athenes, and this was before Sensor got buffed, I think. Um, but I, Athene Sensor, gives you a fast 40% cooldown reduction and a decent amount of ability power. Plus, you get some nice effects, which are pretty good on Karma. The Sensor passive is great with AD carries, and you can just spam E on your AD carry to give it to them. But you can also mentor E to give it to your entire team. And the Athene's passive, well, I mean, it scales with how much damage you do, and he does tons of damage, uh, which is actually hilarious. Because, like, normally for Karma, the conventional wisdom is that you scale through your mantra E and by shielding people and keeping them alive. That's why you build, like, Redemption and lock and wind speakers and all that stuff. But what's super crazy and insane about Olay is that he would actually use like Mantra Q late game, which normally is hardly ever right. I mean, he still uses Mantra E in team fights, but he plays support karma as like a legitimate source of damage. So a nice benefit from that, um, though, is not only do you get to kill everyone, but you also get to heal your team from it with Athenes. But anyway, after that, you have full CDR, so probably lock it. Um, can I just take a moment to thank Riot for not making Locket give any cooldown reduction? Like, it's super nice that you can get to full CDR fast and then still have options that don't overcap your CDR. But anyways, back to Karma. Um, when he was going, like, full man mode, he would go Locket after Athenes, but sometimes he'll get it before Athenes now. And I think the last thing to know is how many control words he buys. Like, he'll get multiple control words in every back. Like, this is in solo queue. That's a ton of control words. Uh, so yeah, this is certainly a very fun build. You can just get to run around, you know, killing everyone. Um, I think you have to be able to snowball advantages into wins to make it work, but, you know, since winning lane is, like, so important in, in LCS, like, this is actually what Olay builds in LCS. Like, even yesterday, in Game 3 versus Phoenix 1, um, although sadly he went Locket before Athens, but oh well, it's still, you know, a super cool and aggressive approach to Karma.